Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, Free cat, man. Uh, there's a place called Flashback. Not Flashback, sorry. It's uh, Flowers in the Attic. Um, you know, I was I was a pretty shitty person, man. Uh, yeah, once upon a time. Yeah. So kind of. A little crazy. I'm like crazy. Or am I? But you know the story of Flowers in the Attic. Let me see if I can get a picture of this place. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go down in the history. And over there, Flowers in the Attic. And it's right. It's a little place like Agent Corpus Christi. Place in Corpus Christi, man. Uh, and I hope I'm talking loud enough. I really do. Um, but it's a place called uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. And this place called Flowers in the Attic. And uh, it's a little mysterious and a little interesting. I'm not sure the first story, but I'm sure it'll play out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea exactly what the fuck happened. And uh, the old man killed the entire crew and family. I mean, he did, probably. No, seriously. The old man killed the entire uh, family and killed all the workers. And uh, now I got bought out. I'm not sure if uh, the government owns it or whatever owns it. But it's in Corpus Christi, man, and this place is, you know, it's called the Body of Christ, you know, or, or Body of Water. Uh, it's called Corpus Christi, Texas, you know. And uh, uh, I hear you, yeah, 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 people over there in the, in the igloo land, um, you know, are into some pretty hardcore stuff, you know. I'm into computers and whatnot, and uh, I know that. You know, me being a piece of shit and all. I don't know. I I'm a good person. I, I can be. I don't know. It just depends, I guess, really. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all a matter of opinion. But, uh, anyway, I'm rambling on that bullshit. I don't know if you, you can call the video whatever the hell you want. But, uh, Flowers in the Attic. Okay, I've been going there since. Oh, hell, dude. I don't know. Around the time, maybe when my dad hung himself uh, back in 08 or my daughter died back in 07. Or whenever I picked up 27 felonies, you know, uh, for doing about like, some computer crimes that uh, I probably shouldn't have done. And thank you, Toshiba, <laughs> you know, for fucking me and my buddy over in Europe. So we stole seven. Well, we stole seven million dollars. I got 3.5. Uh, that's a story for another time. But uh, the feds are not very nice, and they can uh, definitely make you pay that back. So, be, yeah, yeah, just be, you know, just because she was fucked us over because they wanted us to do some dumb shit and, and put, you know, fucking like our heroin on a fucking freight, freighter and, like, you know, just call International Police Waters and have them docked because the CEO of, uh, you know, Toshiba did that and, like, he was going to pay us money to do this because he was looking for some hackers to fucking stop competition. And so we did, we found a way, which was pretty stupid and simple, just, you know, load a bunch of heroin on a fucking freight boat and just, you know, do that. And, you know, he got to beat this competition and they got to release their product first and ta-da, you know, there's Toshiba, CEO. Bet you didn't know that. Yeah, they put five million dollars. It's kind of a bitch. It was a real bitch, you know. It was a real bitch to claim, it took a long time. It's a lot of time, and in prison it's not fun. This is not fun at all. It's not cool. See, I did, I did some prison time. It's not nice. But, you see, murder, that's even worse, isn't it? You know, and see, hackers can do bad things and good things. And they can be good people. They really can be. And, you know, bad people... They're still doing, doing bad ways, and when I continue doing bad ways, there's a special place for you. Very special place for you. Very special place for you. And these Alistairs came uh, to take it from here. <laughs> Look at it on YouTube, uh, Hasbro Hotel, it's a good show. But, Flowers of the Attic. It's also a book, a Greek book, that I never read. But it's about weed or something like that. And see, guess your grandma. I just call her grandma. You know why? Because literally, this is like a like like a freaking old school granny. They would like give you milk and cookies and shit. 
but show you a myth pipe and like a fucking you know crack pipe at the same time and be like eh, hey yeah you having some water and she'll give you some water and shit all fucking badass and like you know me being like a little youngster and all, and all fucking like hurt and whatnot because my daughter's dead and my fucking dad hung himself I'm like god damn <laughs> I used to run down the streets and fucking just smash car windows and break fucking you know just pop tires and just do dumb stupid shit like a fucking like a monster I was breaking into cars stealing people's shit not giving a fuck not giving a goddamn thing I didn't give a I didn't give two shits I smashed people's fucking car windows open took what I could all kind of shit dude did a bunch of stuff met some very dangerous people hung out with some very dangerous people uh, Jumper was a crazy one that motherfucker you know, I remember whenever I used to uh, fix uh, tech and whatnot, because uh, that's what I did, you know, I own Close Out Tech, uh, Green Cat Productions, boom. Just saying, you know, just saying. Uh, <laughs> you may think I'm crazy. No. Uh, it's good at what I do. But, uh, just went inside that store. New owners. Like, hmm, should buy the place or what? Who the fuck are y'all? They be coming here? Cause uh, that's pretty pretty interesting. That's that's bite. I want to take some real fast, but I don't steal anymore. Yeah, I just voice my opinion and just you know. I've had my rage and frustration and anger out, you know, and said, because I could have been, I could have been a murderer very easily, and murdering a bunch of gangsters too, like, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I mean, but this, this one angel, this amazing woman, came into my life, and, uh, she stopped that, she put it into it. She really did. She made me not a monster, not an evil person, not a horrible person. She she helped cure my soul. But tell me if this doesn't sound odd to you, okay? For Let's just say, I'm 34 right now. I graduated high school in 06. Let's just take that for right off the bat. I've been going to that store for a long time. Every single worker died, except for the owner. Who was he? Well, the last person standing, I guess. The last man standing wins, I guess. I don't know. The old man. His grandma was still a little old. You know, she was old. But then they lost some other workers. And everyone slowly started to die. All of them. Just, you know, even uh, Sal, you know, just died. They, they all died. Why is that? Why, why would... Is it in the old man? The old man, the, the husband, he's alive. Why? And he didn't know how to run in the shop for shit. He didn't know the prices. He didn't run the shit. Yeah, the people, you know, everyone used to, you know, sell, sell drugs <laughs> to the, you know what I mean, like to the workers and whatnot, because everyone knows, you know, like, hey, the workers are getting a little uh, jiggy jiggy with it, <laughs> just a little jiggy with it, you know what I mean, getting a little fucked up, do some fucked up things, you know what people do, what do they get high on crazy shit like methamphetamine, you fucked up shit, you fucked up things, especially when you're on PCP, you do crazy shit. Real crazy shit. Homicidal shit. <clears throat> but I don't do that. <laughs> but I know that that's odd. <laughs> He's actually a good actor. Just a little bit. I don't know. It all depends on how you perceive it. But, 
what I see is some tomfoolery. Some nonsense, man. And I tell you what, kid, there'll be a winner. There'll be a winner. Winner, 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 winner. That old man must have been the one who X'd off everybody. He must have. Because if it wasn't him, then who was it? Who killed everybody? Who killed them all? Because they all died. They all did. Every single worker, every single time. There was probably about 15, maybe 20. I don't know. But 10 years, over 20 people died. Working at Flowers and Attic. And that was every single worker. That's not coincidence. Believing consciences. Do you believe in consciences? Do you believe in magic? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Me and my, you know, what are, what am I? You know, people want entertaining shit sometimes, you know. Well, people want something interesting. Well, let me tell you something interesting about Corpus Christi, Texas. It's a great place to come, relax, kick back, enjoy. A good old time. Maybe have some fun. Maybe sit back, you know, have a beer. Just enjoy, enjoy your yard, you know. Because it's not like there's any... Nothing bad that happens here. I don't think there's any bad people anywhere. But Texas is uh, a little ass backwards. And it's starting to get its act right. And it's starting to get taken over. And it's starting to fall apart. And it's starting to get funny. And it's starting to make me laugh. A little inside because I've become a good person deep inside. I ain't a monster, I ain't a killer. Yeah, I sure as hell ain't a rapper. I'm not a rapper. Where am I? I don't know, but I can tell you one thing. I do at Flowers and Attic. Kill everybody you see. That sucks to me. But oh well. I don't care. That sounds funny. You know why? Because it sounds like the sex thing shuffle. That's funny to me. The sex thing shuffle. That's, somebody, somebody needs to investigate this, this shit. I'm sad because I believe that is, is, a, is a hell of a way to punish people. The sex is running a shuffle. Funny. It's very funny. It's a very funny way to shame and punish somebody. You make it a sex is shuffle. You know that? It's a very, very fucking hilarious way to, you know, shame somebody. And that's kind of how you do it. But, you know, the sex vendor shit is not very funny, it's not very cool. But, you know, who am I to kill somebody? Or gut them? Try to learn from them? I'm listening to the most sickest music in the world. Some dark, dark shit. But instead, I cried. My girlfriend's back was hurting. And I wondered why. Her curved spine, her trust. She was losing faith in me. But little did I know that woman would save me. I got stuff to do. I don't know if it's the greatest. I'm not gonna do anything dangerous. Or am I? I don't know. I only wanna find out. And that's like, let's fucking subscribe because I want some fucking followers too. I want to be cool. I want to be cool and fucking famous. Why not? It wouldn't hurt. I'm just making my own video in my own way, man. Like, you can You set up all those things. <laughs> no. No, you're having the cool kid, you fucking pigs.